much for coming to Project Inspire and um, taking a day off work and coming here and uh, giving us your um, words of wisdom about how you've achieved your job and everything. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Oh, my pleasure. So I think the first um, simple question is, what is your job? And uh, maybe just give us a, a, an overview of what that job is. So I'm a landscape architect. Uh, I'm self-employed. We design spaces for uh, people to live and work and play in, so external environments, but also environments that are for uh, plants and animals. Um, and to, to benefit them as well. Um, could you tell me how you think your job either protects, promotes or allows you to participate in the environment? It may not be all three, it may just be one or... Yeah, uh, landscape architects um, are probably out of those three primarily involved with uh, protecting. Uh, we, we do work with architects and engineers but we also work with some of the more um, uh, environmentally based professions such as uh, ecologists, um, uh, soil scientists, which is a very uh, focused uh, profession, arboriculturalists who uh, study trees, um, hydrologists as well who are um, involved in the study of water. Landscape architects have been at the, at the forefront of many different um, environmental initiatives uh, such as biodiverse roofs we're heavily involved with. People might know those as green or brown yes, yeah, roofs. I've heard of those, yeah. um, one that might not be as commonly known is sustainable urban drainage systems, which sounds quite complicated, but essentially it involves keeping water above the ground so that it can be of benefit to our natural environment, both um, animals and plants. It helps um, uh, flood prevention, uh, which landscape architects are involved with. And landscape architects work on a number of other um, uh, initiatives like uh, sand dune restoration or uh, wetland recreation, reforestation. Uh, those are a few examples of projects okay. that we're involved with. Yeah. We have a very broad range of knowledge because we work with so many different um, mm -hmm. A professions, okay. a very broad range. Yeah. But presumably it, it could be more urban as well, your profession if you wished it to be. Yes, so absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Uh, All right, maybe you could describe to us what you think a typical day would be. Of course it might not be just a day, it might be a week, depending on how varied your career is. I draw every day um, either by hand or on the computer. Um, on the computer, the, the programs that I typically use are AutoCAD, which is a computer-aided design program. I also use Photoshop. Um, but equally, I still colour in plans, um, which is great. It's still that very uh, hands-on approach. Um, so actually, if I have tools to draw, I have my laptop, I have my mobile phone, I can work from anywhere. And presumably you get something like a project brief, do you? Yeah, absolutely. So that would typically describe the client's um, aspirations or, you know, what really what they what they want to see the project um, uh, does at the, at the end, you know, how, how, how it works, uh, what it looks like. Um, also, who's, who's involved in the project? It will identify who's involved in the project. And also the brief will show, for me, if I'm doing um, coloured master plans, which can be incredibly useful, I might do detailed drawings of how um, every component of, um, you know, possibly a wetland habitat works with decking details, um, to hard landscape plans which show the layouts, and then planting plans as well, so I, so I have a, a very uh, extensive range of plant knowledge that uh, that means that the contractors know what to and how to build things at the end. Just out of interest, so you obviously you do your plans, don't you? Um, you present them to your client. Do you then go through the whole building process with them, so you make sure they put in all the right plants and you see them through that construction process? Yes, I'll be on site seeing how things are built and built properly. 
um, and clients will uh, employ me to, to see that it's built properly. We work with um, building regulations. We work with um, lighting engineers as well <clears throat> to check that uh, light levels are sufficient at, at, at night or in fact um, uh, are not too bright that they affect um, bat migration patterns or bird migration patterns. So you sound like you could travel with this job. Yes, I've worked on projects in six different continents, um, countries such as uh, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, um, Macau, <laughs> Hong Kong, uh, United States, China. I, uh, I can feel the kids lining up for this job now because it just sounds really appealing already. <laughs> Yes, um, it's if you if you have the desire to do it, there's there's there are the opportunities to travel, um, yeah. yeah, and experience different cultures and um, yeah, different environmental experiences mm. as well. Or oh, you know, imagine six different continents. That's a lot right. of different Definitely. environments. Yeah, you'd learn so much. A lot of different plants to learn as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> now I, the other one which kids will probably be interested in is uh, a starter salary. Yeah, so research at the moment shows uh, that landscape architects, uh, graduate landscape architects, will earn on average uh, £24,000 okay. a year. That's great, very useful to know. What do you enjoy about your job? And maybe you could just give us an example of something that's stuck in your memory about something you've done that was really amazing. One example that I, I'll never forget was when I worked in Hong Kong, um, having to take a very small boat to an uninhabited island and bumping up against the rocks and jumping off to go and do a um, study of the trees there. Um, it, was a, it was a great experience and uh, yeah I've had numerous other sort of similar experiences to that and for, I've been very lucky. Okay, yeah. I, I definitely want to become a landscape architect now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> okay, and the, another interesting thing I think would be, what do you think um, personality traits would suit this job? Uh, determination is uh, very high on the list. Um, it's a, it, it can be a, in the construction industry, um, it can be very um, hard and fast. Um, it's a very black and white industry. There are no sort of woolly lines. Um, it's very focused. Uh, being creative is very important uh, to be a landscape architect. Right, the next thing I'd like to ask you about is what GCSE choices did you take and were they important for this job? I did a very broad range of GCSEs. So there weren't any that you feel that you really definitely needed to take? Uh, at the top of the list would be art. Um, okay. That was uh, very beneficial um, for the type of work that I do. All right. um, if you were going into a more sort of science uh, base of landscape architecture, then the sciences would be useful. But for me, uh, being creative, art was very important. Lovely. Um, the next question, which is sort of follows on, is what A-level choices did you take? Um, and were they important for this job? Or were there any that you wish you had taken? Again, I was uh, maybe lucky to a certain extent in choosing subjects that uh, were relevant to what I do now. Um, I, ch I did achieve three A-levels, maths, biology and art, and each of them are used pretty much every day. Art I use every day, maths is such an important subject and I use that every day, um, not only for, for my job but for the business side of my job. Mm. Uh, and biology is uh, important with all of the um, environmental um, people that I work with as well. It helps speak their language a bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Again, following on, um, what degree did you take um, and would it, been, would it have been important for your job? I'm one of the very few people probably that has a degree in the job that I do. So I have a, a Bachelor of Arts Honours degree in Landscape Architecture. Um, so it's a, a very uh, focused course in the job that I do now. A very vocational um, study as well. Um, everything that I studied at university is relevant to my day-to-day -day work. 
So definitely helpful for your job. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Although people do go into landscape architecture um, later on um, as a change of profession. But um, yes, I went directly into. Okay. Yeah. Ian, maybe you could just give us a, an idea of what jobs you did um, when you started to become a landscape architect. What you know, what professional route you took from when you finished your degree. So I left university and went straight to Hong Kong to work. Um, I had to knock on doors um, and uh, walk footpaths uh, to find anyone that might uh, offer me a job. It's good advice, I suppose, not to expect just to see an advert and to get a job. So is to be determined that actually writing to a company does show that you're interested and passionate about potentially the job that you want to do. So I think that probably still stands as good advice today yeah, even in this country as well as Hong Kong. Definitely, definitely. In, 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 in any country, I think, um, uh, I think it would be seen as a, as a positive thing. It certainly wouldn't be seen as a negative mm. thing. But... Um, so we've sort of come to the end of the interview now. So I'd just like yeah. to say thank you very much I have learned a massive amount about being a landscape architect and I'm sure everyone else has too. So. Yeah, thank you Kate, thank All you right. very much. Thanks.